Forest is a project about recreating nature in mega cities, particularly in China. But that's a very, very wide <laughs> topic. So I actually focused on something very specific, transplanted old trees. Okay. Be prepared for failure, yeah? In new Chinese cities, they, they want to have nature which is a good thing, but often they're not patient enough for nature to establish itself, so the solution is to buy. So they basically just decided, okay, instead of growing forests, which takes hundreds of years, let's just buy some old trees from elsewhere. And, uh, you know, when I, when I saw trees like this, I basically just felt the pain like my limbs were chopped off, my hair was torn, and I was dug out from somewhere I grew all my life. You know, it's that kind of really physical empathy. Frank is a very special case in this uh, forest project because it's the only tree I managed to photograph before it was transplanted. By accident, I I bumped into the tree in a, in a very old traditional village. So this was Frank there, you know, it's the absolute center of the village life. Everybody was there, kids playing cards, they were just wandering around. It's like our pub in England. So I knew in March 2013, I knew something would happen to the tree, but nobody knew what. Um, three months later in June, I decided to go back to the village and have a look again. It was really interesting because we followed all the same direction, same route. There was nothing left. It's like nothing ever even existed. The whole area was flattened. The, I was hoping to at least see a, a hole in the ground so I could you know, work out where the trees were, but there was nothing. It's been sold to another city, uh, two hours drive away. So we, <coughs> the next day we drove, we drove to the city we found the tree, it's devastating. You know, having seen its original state, now it's, uh, it's so painful. That's, that's uh, June 2013, and this is November 2017. The red soil mound is still there, but Frank had died two years ago. For me, Frank, Frank's story says so much about the situation. You know, in a way, it was almost rescued or shall we say recycled. Uh, it's a good thing that it's given another chance. It's a bad thing that it had to move. So, you know, the whole situation, you can't just say it's, it's bad or it's good. It's a very complicated story. You know, maybe it's a price we pay in order to uh, develop. So we've now put all the pictures up. We're just touching up with some other things. We need to put the captions on. We, we have, where is it? I'll show you. This might be the last bit of Frank, the 300-year-old tree. I found this at the red soil mound where it once stood. So I actually shipped it all the way back to England. And this morning I painted a plinth. I think it's still being dried outside. And tomorrow we'll just put it on top and right in the middle. Mm, we were hoping it can stand up, but maybe now it has to lie down. <laughs> I did the experiment, I saw a line just very simple. 